And first, um, before I do read the trigger warning here, I do want to say thank you to the developer, though, for reaching out to me and providing me with a copy of Suicide Guide to play on tonight's stream. Um, and after that, uh, here is our trigger warning. The following game, Suicide Guide, puts the player into a role of a nice big guy that will need to wake up in order to save the most important thing in his life. With this being said, in order to get himself to wake up, the big guy must commit acts of suicide in his dreams to try to wake up. Although it's not graphic, it does mention it and may not be suitable for some players. If you or a loved one have suicidal thoughts, please remember you are not alone and to reach out to the Suicide Prevention Hotline. There is a link right here, um, which is opencounseling.com forward slash suicide dash hotlines, which will give you a page that will give you pretty much every suicide hotline in the world. It gives for each country their suicide hotline. Um, so if you are ever in a crisis or you're feeling suicidal, uh, definitely reach out to your suicide prevention hotline. And just so you know, viewer's discretion is advised. So we're going to go ahead and start up the game now. So this is Suicide Guide Deluxe Edition, and it is available on PC. It is going for the price of $7.99 USD. It is available on Steam. Again, if you like what you see of the game, or you want to play it yourself, if you click on that link there, it will give you the link to all the games I'm playing tonight. Um, we're going to just continue. <laughs> because unlike the other games, you can't restart this one. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue where I left off. Um, as I have already read before, trigger warning yet again, um, because this guy, he's trying to wake himself up. And so he has to kind of like kill himself in his dreams in order to wake up. So that is what you're gonna see some of but it's not graphic you don't see blood or anything it just kind of happens um so let's go ahead and we will go to the next level which i think i'm on like level three right now so ideally what happens in this is that oh, yeah, I think my cursor is kind of interfering a bit. Let me turn down the audio a little bit. It doesn't seem like it's letting me uh, change up the audio, though. Now it sounds like we have no sound. Okay, we do. So this one is level three. And again, ideally you are Well, we need this. Cool. It seems like it killed the music though. Like there's no music now. And there was music in this. Yeah, there. 
There's supposed to be music, but for some odd reason there is no music. Cause yeah, it's supposed to have music, but for some odd reason there is none now. Oh, okay. I have no idea why we're crawling through here, but okay. Maybe go out the airlock. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to have music, but for some odd reason, I don't have music now. what happens yeah because it was supposed to unless this level does not have that could be it too this maybe this level doesn't have um music because it's in space no uh oh what's supposed to happen one I think we might have glitched the game there it is show any graphic type stuff with it. It is driving me nuts that there is no music now though. And I don't know why. Okay. I guess I have to have the master turned up in order for it to actually play the music. So we did that one. Is this number four? Is this like the what you call it? Yeah. Kind of like the Temple of Doom. You grab the idol. Okay. 
Okay, you know what? I think we need this. one he has the like the puzzles in the game are great it's just a really sensitive subject that the game kind of you know goes around basically because like i said i don't think i can like move this in here can i Save, baby. It's what if I send multiple of these on here? Just curious. actually
can't grab that because it's too heavy. I'm looking to see if maybe I missed something. I got a key. Or I had a key. Oh. Grab this key. Present, but I just feel like you have to have them. Grab it.
like, I, oh, I was gonna say, I highly doubt we can carry that up there, but okay. This is, this one's real, this puzzle is like really out there. Technically, it was just the fate of him getting caught in a trap, but that there is Suicide Guy Deluxe Edition, and again, if you did like what you saw of the game, if you click on that link there, it will get you the link to Suicide Guy. Um, it's going for $7.99. It is on PC. Um, apparently this, I believe, is also a VR game as well. I can't remember off the top of my head, so don't quote me for that. Uh, but otherwise, like I said, I like the puzzles in the game. I just wish the name would have been different. And I get why it's called this. Um, you know, because, you know, it, it gets deep, the science behind you know, such as if you, you know, perish or die in a dream, you wake up immediately, um, you know. So I get, you know, I just, I like the puzzles. If I have to try to take a positive out of it, I like the puzzles, but not a big fan of the name of the game. Because the puzzles were really great. I just didn't, didn't really like the um, name of the game. And again, um, I did mention the trigger warning at the beginning when I do upload this to YouTube the trigger warning will be there and the open counseling link will be there again as I have said before if you do have suicidal tendencies or a loved one has them remember you know you're not alone and there are people out there that can help you so always reach out to the suicide prevention hotline to get the help that you need. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna cut this game off and go to something a little more chill.